Hello, welcome back, student. Uh, today our topic is JavaScript. We completed some of the topics in JavaScript in the previous lecture, and today we are going to see some of more topic related to JavaScript as well as we will see some of the practical in JavaScript. Okay, so let's discuss in the previous lecture we completed what is JavaScript and we saw what is a history and what is the use of it then after that we saw how to add the JavaScript in HTML okay so till that we finished so today we are going to see the JavaScript syntax event and classes this we finish this this and this we completed in the previous lecture and today we are going to complete this one syntax event and classes okay today fine so first move the operations whatever the JavaScript operation and constructors are there JavaScript has most perf most of the operation we are used to from C and Java. Okay, I hope you know what is C. From there, like arithmetic, assignment, logical, comparison, this all the operators we can use in the JavaScript. Whatever we can perform this arithmetical operations assignment operation logical operation and com comparison uh, operation this you can use in JavaScript okay there is no relation between Java and JavaScript the totally different okay don't be get confused Java means uh, that is a programming language but this JavaScript is totally different okay the next is note plus also does string concatenation that means like here you are using the plus this is for the adding and the plus symbol is also is using for concatenating okay that we will see uh, in problems and constructor if else while for switch case okay this all you have completed in C and Java okay so this also we can use in JavaScript so how the simple interaction between uh, user and JavaScript is there are three built-in method of doing simple user interaction like alert message first one alert the user that something has happened something has happened next confirm message ask the, ask the user to confirm or cancel something okay prompt message default ask the user to enter some text so these are the three basic are there and important interaction okay alert confirm and prompt so this is like uh, I will show you this is an example of the function okay Java function lets you define function using the function keyword function can return using the return keyword so here what they did here we wrote the function and we gave the function name and in the function name we are writing whatever we want like confirm here just now we saw confirm are you sure you want to do this so confirm so let's go back and do the practical so for that you need to write the HTML code so in the VS code if you are using the VS code it will be easy HTML wait let me increase the size 
HTML when you get this select the second one whole structure you will get it so right here Java script okay and and here you need to write the method like a script so this is a script and whatever the code you have here whatever the code you have here like function show confirm this thing you need to write here okay function and show confirm this show confirm first letter should be small and the second word of the first letter should be capital okay after writing this you need to open the curly braces and here you need to write what you need to write confirm and whatever the message do you want to write you can write so what is the syntax confirm this is a syntax okay and here in the middle you can write are you sure you want to you want to do this are you sure you want to do this question mark okay okay so let's save the file I am saving the file okay I save the file and here I am going to relieve the file explorer VAD. When I am opening the VAD, here, can I see anything? No. I don't have contain. I did not write anything in the body. So here, I am creating one button. Sorry. Button. So here, you can use the function okay so button uh, I am writing on click event so whenever I click on click okay and you need to write your function name what is your function name just now I gave the show confirm this one confirm okay show confirm bracket open and close and this should be close so here you need to write like uh, confirm you can write just confirm the text is confirm so I wrote it this in the body so just save the file control s and go back here and do refresh confirm button is visible here okay when I click it will ask are you sure you want to do this okay finish okay so here one button is created so here you can write h1 okay confirm function is using here click the is then afterwards I am using the paragraph click on the confirm button and you will uh, see the result so this is my simple code so just save the file go back here and refresh confirm function is using here click on the confirm button and you will see the result when I click are you sure you want to do this ok or cancel so are you getting me so this is is this one so the function Java function is important Java script function so here what we have done just we wrote the function and show confirm and 
we gave the message okay in the same way we can do for the alert confirm as well as prompt okay so this is a simple way for the interaction this is Java function okay and the next one is JavaScript array in this JavaScript array here in this code what we are doing means we have taken one variable name is colors is equals to new array okay so how to use array concept in JavaScript this is a simple method so here array is a start from 0 so C color of 0 is red color of 1 is green color of 2 is blue and color of 3 is orange and color of 4 is magnet and colors 5 is gay okay and what we are doing with this color I want all the colors for variable I in colors variable I in colors so what is I 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is very very important document dot write whatever the thing you want to do on the JavaScript so you need document dot write then in that bracket like from here to here with the double quotes we can write okay so this is very simple so I will do one thing I will make it uh, beside of uh, code okay so this is my code otherwise write it and here I will select here you need to write the code for this in your file here in the scripting then only you will get the result of this okay let's try let's do the practical okay so here I already copied the data so I will paste here okay so here we have taken the var colors is equals to new array in the script of script okay so you can do one thing control X paste here okay because we have pasted in the script only so I script this where color is equals to new array and color 0 1 color is green 3 4 and 5 okay and for variable i in color and this is very important as I told you document dot write okay and this plus is not adding this is like concatenation what it's doing if style is equals to the background color the main intention is background color should be color of I plus concatenate plus color of I okay then diff close so I am saving this file I save this file and I will go to here and I will click refresh see red green blue orange magenta and K 
okay so here with the help of JavaScript we will get the color okay aqua refresh see aqua okay so this is a different colors with the help of this we can get it okay so this is a array multiple uh, things are there we completed in one JavaScript only okay with the help of for okay so the next one is JavaScript events JavaScript can be made to respond to user event event just now we have done like uh, when we click on button on click on submit mouse over on focus okay this all are the events are there okay on load on unload on focus on blur on change even pretending to the form element okay and on, uh, on submit when a form is submitted so this is some of the events are there we will I will show you this uh, example already I have uh, this example submit up submit button so here the confirm document dot form array whatever the array is there first name and value so what is this means here I am going to create one input okay the text input and I am going to take that name from here enter your name when I am entering my name F name will here and document dot form F name whatever you name give and that value okay so first I will show you the execution then you will easily understand so that is submit when I click on submit button see so here the text box and here the button if I write here Ahmed submit see hello Ahmed you will be redirecting to www.pmkit solutions so it will move to that okay so like this so whatever the name you will enter here it will take as a name okay like uh, Khan submit hello Khan so how this message is coming and how the message is displaying here with the help of this alert box alert hello F name whatever the name you are inserting here that name is displaying here with the help of this you will now be redirecting to this solution PMKIT solutions okay then when you click it will move to that place clear so this is a, a Java is very simple very effective uh, less code and do more and as we saw the jQuery jQuery is a subset of Java query uh, Java script okay and we have some of the okay this also we will see so here submit button okay so this is about the event in the same way on submit in place of submit you can write on load on click on button sorry on unload okay like here on submit can you see on submit in place of this you can write on click just now we have done here in on click on click and here you can write on blur okay fine the next one is exceptional handling like if you have some error this code will help you to get the try catch throw if you have some error 
it will show the alert box like you have a error okay when you use this whenever you want to use you can use in the same way how we are getting the messages like this alert box in the same way this will also display this try because alert text whatever the error will be there it will display okay so this is about the error e exception handling okay and how to write the command in the JavaScript same as C, C, C++ that is double slash for single quote single quote and slash star and star slash is for multiple code okay so this is for the single single line code and this multiple line code multiple line code okay same as C C++ okay object JavaScript is object oriented and use the same method calling syntax as Java we have already seen this with the document object when you write like this it will display the prompt message document dot write hello world okay like uh, this in place of here you will get the message okay okay the next one is built-in JavaScript objects some basic object are built in JavaScript string date array boolean and math okay so this is some of the built-in JavaScript uh, objects are there string data date array boolean and math okay so what is a string a string object is created every time you use a string literal just like in Java have many of the some method as in Java like char at concat index of okay sub string there are also some HTML specific method like big bling bold fixed font color font size italic line small strike sub subscript superscript okay and don't use the HTML method use CSS instead this is worst kind of visual formatting okay don't use the HTML methods use CSS instead inst okay so here if you want to get the display you will get the date you can get the date the date class makes working with dates easier a new date is initialized with the current data current date date can be compared and incremented okay so this is a simple code for the date when you add this code in your uh, program in HTML page then it will work easily okay JavaScript array and boolean we have already seen the array classes the boolean class encapsulated and boolean value okay and the JavaScript method is math class encapsulate many commonly used mathematical entity and formulas 
these are all class method ABS a cons assign a time a tan to seal cos expression x exp floor log max mean okay this all are the class method they are all class method square root so here if mat dot cos mat dot pi not equal to zero alert something is wrong with mat dot cos so like this you can do the comparison here we are doing the comparison if math cos does not equal to zero alert something is wrong with math class okay so this java script and the dom will see in the next class okay and we will start some new topic also in the next class here you can see HTML DOM object HTML document and how to write the HTML okay like this also we'll see document dot get element by ID okay fine so what we have done today just we saw the syntax how to write the JavaScript and where where to write where to write the JavaScript JavaScript should write in the head tag in scripting tag okay and whatever the function you are giving here for the function name that should be called from the body so here we are writing the code in a script okay like if you come here also you need to write in the scripting tag one you can give more scripting no problem okay like here we have given two scripts or oh, with the help of with opening tag and closing tag so this is a syntax and event event we saw on click okay we saw on click array confirm button on click okay and java script classes as well as we saw the java script classes So this is the math class. So we saw the some of the classes. Okay, class method. Different class methods are available here. Okay, and we saw how to write the comment. And this thing we will see in the next class. And next class we are going to start JavaScript as well as we will start the new topic that is JSON. Okay. Thank you. If you did not subscribe the channel, subscribe and you will get the notification. Thank you.